You know, when the pilgrims came over here, they would cook beans all day Saturday to have on Sunday for the Sabbath. It's no different now than it was then. Beans need a long time to cook. They sit and they take on the flavors of the things that you put in them and it just makes them wonderful. If you're just trying to make a pot of beans in an hour or two, you're going to get an hour or two's worth of flavor. You really need, you know, to just slow down, think about it, find a really good recipe you think your family would enjoy, and do it low, long, and slow. Hi, I'm Tammy at All About Living, and welcome to our kitchen. Okay, to make my Creole beans, I'm going to use pinto beans. So they do need to be soaked and washed, well, they need to be washed and picked and then soaked overnight. So I've done that already. I was up, I started soaking them at like 11 o'clock last night because I was sitting there going, what am I going to fix for dinner tomorrow? And I always try to figure out the day ahead what I'm going to do. And I was like, well, we hadn't had beans. We had black beans the other day, but I really don't count those. So, um, I said, well, it's time for beans. Anyway, so I have washed and soaked, and now I have them in my pot, and we're going to get started. Okay, to go in my beans, I have some salt pork. That's really important when you're making Creole beans. You need salt pork, either salt fat back or plain fat or as long as it's salted pork fat. Okay, the one I'm using is by Smithfield. It says salted pork fat back. My, these, in my pinto beans, I have one pound of pinto beans and I'm going to put one fourth of a pound of that salt pork in there. And then I'm going to add just enough water to cover it. So that's covered. So I use about four cups of water. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get us a high flame. And we're going to bring that pot up to a boil. As soon as it boils, we're going to drop it to a simmer. Okay, my beans are boiling now. So I'm going to turn that down all the way down to low to simmer. And they're going to simmer just like that for an hour. I'm not adding anything else. They're just going to sit and simmer for an hour. Okay, my hour is up. I'm going to give that a stir. Make sure I'm not sticking. I hadn't opened that lid, not one time. And I think I'm gonna need to add just a little bit more water because it did cook down good. So I'm gonna put one more cup of water in here. So that'd be a total of five cups. Yep. Give that a stir. And now we're just going to start adding ingredients. We're going to start because it's already done because I have my frozen bell peppers. I need one cup of bell pepper. Pop! I need one large onion. I don't have a large one, so that's going to be my one large onion. And I am going to cut that fine, like I did the bell peppers. Just so they're all pretty much the same size.
Okay, and we're gonna get that first onion in there. And then we're gonna cut the other one. Number two, going in. Okay, I'm going to need a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, I don't need a spoon for this. I'm just going to do a good round around, so maybe a quarter teaspoon. Same thing with the thyme, just go around, you know, probably a quarter of a teaspoon or so. Crushed red pepper. I'm going to put a teaspoon, but we like it, you know, to have a little heat, but if you don't like it, leave it out. Of course, it is Creole. It is Creole. And I need two large cloves of garlic. That's probably a good tablespoon of mince. Same thing with the hot sauce. We like it. So about six, seven dashes. Worcestershire sauce. It's around a tablespoon. I guess I can measure that. There we go. And then we need a half a can of tomato sauce. Now you can use the whole can, that's fine. I just find that's a little too much tomato. So I usually just use a half a can and save the other half for something else. Yeah, about like that. Okay, now we're going to give that a good, good stir. And don't think I'm done. I'm not done. That's what makes these beans so, so good. Everything goes in in stages. Now we're going to let this simmer for another hour. My next hour is up. And we're going to get that last ingredient in there. But I'm going to give it a little stir. Just because I can. Put it there. Okay, and you, the last ingredient is German sausage. Any kind of German sausage that you like. We happen to like bratwurst. So that's what's going in our Creole bean. Okay, well now we're going to cut these up into bite-sized pieces. Into the pot they go. There we 
go. Give that a good stir. Get those down into the bottom. Get that lid back on. And go one more hour. Set that timer. One more hour. Third hour up. Look at that. Now who wouldn't like those beans? Look at that. Get this plated up. Okay, first we got to get us some rice, about a cup, oh. uh, get us a little meat, there you have it. Randy said I forgot to mention the rice, but I didn't because I told you it was Creole beans and rice. So what you need to do is just make you a pot of rice and serve the beans right on top of there and you have Creole beans and rice. I'll see you next time. Bye.